nice sunny cool day, lots of climbing, sure. lots of fun. Right. Let's go. Let's go into it and everything. Hey, here we are, selfie. Yay. Second to the last day. Good morning, Johnny. Good morning, good morning. Good morning, David. Hello, Clarence. Hello, oh, Fred. Let's we'll get them all. Good morning, Alan. Good morning, Nikki. Good morning, How. Good morning, Dirk. Good morning, Whit. Oh, you're stopping. And Janine. Just a chance for an interview. Phil. You bet, Phil, here. Well, I'll get me tomorrow morning before we go into Maine. Absolutely, because that is your home state. Another double bridge. They just leave the old ones for the pedestrians. Over a river. I'm not sure what it is. Might be the Chesapeake. Might not. It's a river. Of course, it's welcome to New Hampshire. Awesome. New Hampshire. Ah, we'll do. Two, three. Hold on. Oh, buckle up! Under age of eighteen. Over over sixty, we don't care. Love these New Hampshire hills. Seventy-four miles. Where you go, Wit? Yeah, we're gonna have a lot of these rollers today, I'm afraid. A lot of downs and ups. Eight percent grades. We're sitting on the McCormick Durham Farm All. All right. Okay, now without the glasses and the helmet. And we got an old John Deere with a big flywheel. Cool. In general, this is a great highway with a wide shoulder, smooth asphalt, 9% grade, the next mile. It's a subway. Looks like a beautiful little town of Keene. How quaint. He just turned on to Concord Road. Just out of Keene. Beautiful forest. Nice and cool. 10% grade on this lovely hill. I can take a rest rest. I don't blame you. Oh, that's a beautiful dog. He's an Afghan. An Afghan, of course. Yeah. No, I'm telling you, like, you guys are cheating. I've done this twice with packs on, so. Oh! <laughs> But I thought, you know, because I wanted to do it one more time when I'm 65, which gives me another four years, and I've never gotten to actually drop a wheel in each ocean. Like Washington to Vermont and and Portland, Oregon to here. So, because I just live down the road. And, and I took my daughter and her, her friend, thank God, you know. Yeah, so yeah. I didn't fucking kill my daughter, you know. Yeah. Because um, I took up the rear, you know, and they yeah. called me Mayo because I couldn't catch up. Mm -hmm. You know. I thought, you know, that might be the way to do it. Just well, you did self-contained all the way from coast to coast? Really? Yeah. When did you do this? Well, when I was 29 years old, I graduated from vet school, and I took the summer. It took me 48 days to get from Washington State to Shaftesbury, Vermont. So, well, yeah, that's enough. Yeah, yeah but it's a lot right. easier when you have hotels. Yeah, and see, I didn't. No, actually, man, I, I camped out in city parks and That's I was a cool. poor fucking yeah. vet student. I have jack shit. Yeah, right. Left. Yeah. To bike across the country with, so I think I did it. Cuz what do they what do they ask for this trip? What is it? $11,000. You know, it cost me about 10,000 a piece to take myself and, and and my daughter and to her friend across because right. um, I did treat them to a hotels periodically and I had to pay for camping and when I went myself, I, I either ditched off the road or 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 there were city parks across the because i took about 20 across i mean i, I went Highway 20. idaho i went idaho and then montana i dropped 
over to Yellowstone and then down across Wyoming and then across fucking Nebraska. Um, <laughs> and of the yeah. endless wind, you know. Yes, it will. In it's, Iowa yes. and, and, and heat. Yeah. 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 And yeah. then my brother lived in Chicago, so I stopped in there for a few days. And then I actually went north on advice from a woman I met when I was um, just training in Glacier. I was with my Australian friend. And I said, I'll go with you and your parents as long as you throw me out on the road for about 30 <laughs> miles or so a day. I was still a student. I needed to. Yeah. I need a sort of sort of have some sort of condition on me before I yeah. started out. But, you know, after two weeks, you're hard, you know, and it's just all up here, you know. After so. two weeks, yeah. How about? That's, that's, that's how I started training. I yeah. said, okay, I'll just use the first two weeks for training. It is, yeah. yeah. And after but, that, it's but, just but, but I mean, it's a lot harder when you're carrying all your stuff. Did you pull no a trailer? No, shit, no. Yeah. But I might, you know. But yeah. I mean, I'd rather not again, yeah. Because I blew my knee the first day. It's like when I trained, it's oh. unloaded, you know. Yeah. And so, oh, the first, yeah, first two weeks were miserable. So yeah. I took my gear over time, but to me, whoever set my bike up gave me a wonderful low, low, low. You know, really that, that, that rear ring was so nice and small that I could climb any hill. And then uh -huh. my high, because I'm, I spend most of my time in that low gear. No, it was, uh, it was fun. It was, uh, it was an experience because I never, I, and then I actually went up Michigan north into Canada, then across Canada for a week and dropped into upstate New York and then came down across to my Yeah, that's tomorrow. probably better for traffic anyway. Yeah, yeah. It yeah. was. It was. Yeah, because you'll hate fucking shoulders in the state. Oh yeah. That's where yeah. you know I was I was thinking about it when I was watching you guys the other day. Because your a group literally came in the same time we were finishing up our ride, which is yeah. cool. And uh yeah. they, have, they didn't have that they didn't have that endurance, and then I tried to tell them, I said, you know what, you don't give a hill any more than you have to give it, because you don't know how many more hills you have to get. Exactly. All of a sudden, they saw their old mother pull it out of her ass and book. Ah! Yeah, right. They were like, where in the hell did you get that? It's like, that's been there. I yeah. just say, I don't waste it. Mm -hmm. It's like, yeah. waste it. I know. Super now, Iowa was fun to ride across, too. I thought, no hills. Who fucking said Iowa was level? Yeah, I know it. It's <laughs> really, yeah. I did this all day long. Yeah, that's right. You know, all there day you go. long. And, and it was too funny because when I was going across Iowa, the rag bri was the next week. And so yeah. people kept thinking I was, no. Yeah, I don't even know what the hell you're talking about. Yeah, you're scouting I'm it out. I'm talking about because I was 29 at the time. You know? Yeah, yeah. So Thank you, doctor. Enjoy I appreciate our... your time. Goodbye. People only call yeah, me the... Donna. Doctor makes me feel all grown ah! up. Get out of here. Get out of here, Donna. now halfway 38 down 38 to go 65 degrees and a your name Damon and, Kylie. Damon and Kylie you got two names your name is Damon and Kylie is your name Damon and Kylie too yeah okay that's great great uh-oh you don't need that part anyway mm -mm. we're riding to Manchester you ever been to Manchester yeah I got three of them. Oh, okay, I got this one because I, I drink a lot of water. And this one is a lot more fun. When a dog comes and chases me. Right. Yeah, see what? Beep. Try to squirt me. No. Here, you try to squirt me, okay? Okay, okay here, you got to push that button right there. Okay. Right there. Push okay. it down there. Oh! Yeah, you can't, yeah, see? You can't shoot me anyway because I'm too fast. Oh, hey! <laughs> hey! Get me all wet! Hey! Oh, no. See? Thank you.
Let's just see, I do that. Mmm, squeeze me up. Gets myself wet, like that. Can I try to get myself wet? No! Because you didn't get all cold. You wouldn't want to do that. So. No, yeah, your little sister. I want to squirt you. Yeah, you like to squirt me, don't you? That would be fun. <laughs> so. I want to squirt you now. You already squirted me. No, her. No. She doesn't want to be squirted. No, no, I can't. How about if she squirts you? Oh, yeah. Oh, okay, here. Okay, that's a good idea. Okay, you come over here and, yeah, and squirt her. Okay, I'll hold that. And yeah. you push this button down here, yeah. like with your thumb. Like that. Do oh. again. <laughs> no, no. Stay away from the strange man. Bye. No, you already tried it. No. Nice garden. We're in downtown Atrium, and there's a couple of churches active here. <clears throat> the third church I passed in a block. And there's a fourth church. It's Sunday, and they're going to church. Man, a dock paper mill. Just needs a little paint. Forest products. Twenty-four miles to Manchester, and it's a beautiful tree-lined asphalt road. It's a beautiful day in New Hampshire. And another lovely climb. We have a lot of these rollers. On the way to Manchester. My name is the Goof Town. It's a nice place to have a picnic. It could be private if it wasn't for people coming up like me saying, Is there any trout in this, in this river? And we're in Goose Town, and we have another roundabout. Actually, we don't have to go all the way around. Four and a half miles to go, and we're in a beautiful forest in New Hampshire. Very narrow shoulders on this busy highway. They kind of come and they go. Here you see it. Now they have a shoulder. Now they don't. And they got traffic. Across Maine, you betcha. We're on Main Street in Manchester. Manchester, Maine.